How's it going? I'm Alan. And I'm Ricky. We're Pleasure Beach, two-fifths of Pleasure Beach, the ugly two-fifths <laughs> of Pleasure Beach, and we're stood on a freezing rooftop, uh, and you're watching Toasted. As I was saying, not so pleasurable on the beach, outside it's freezing. How are you guys doing? We're good, we're good, we're cold, and we're from Ireland. <laughs> you, <know. laughs> you guys are from Belfast, basically, right? Yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah. yeah Which yeah. is different than, of course, Ireland. Well, it's a contentious issue, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been there a couple of times. Um, uh, amazing vibe. Uh, I think it's pretty, it, it's a hardcore place, actually. Yeah, th there's, a, there's a, a good kind of solid underground music scene there. Um, you know, it's a great place to start out being a musician. But it's not the easiest place to grow up, right? Um, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's just a normal place. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, everyone's pretty cool there. Like, um, it's actually becoming a pretty kind of hip place to be at the minute. It's kind of up and rising, um, kind of like I think East London type area type thing. In like yeah. 10, 10 years, it's going to be a major hipster destination. Yeah. Guarantee it. Good. Well, 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 I hope so, because I love uh, Belfast. I think it's a great town. Um, this brings me to the qu next question. You guys are here at Eurosonic. Uh, you're like, lo like a lot of people, you sleep in a boat. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I saw this amazing picture of, uh, I think, I wish I could fly. I think I could fly uh, from the Titanic. <laughs> right, yeah. Titanic comes from Belfast. You guys from Belfast. Mm. In a boat, the circle is complete. That's true. That's <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> that, that's Chaley and our keyboard player. Just an excuse to be dramatic. <laughs> Where are the girls? They're eating lunch, you know. So you guys are the working force here. <laughs> yeah, just... Just doing the, the old grind, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you, because uh, I delved into your history. Uh, officially, what I read was that you guys formed a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's probably impossible because, I mean, y a band doesn't become successful in such a short span <laughs> of time, right? It's been a pretty fast-moving thing. Like, we put a song up on the internet after maybe, when was it? It was maybe April, and then my inbox just melted from one song on SoundCloud and, and that was it and so we went on to record an EP that was released and you know we got some good management and some uh, you know a nice like small independent Irish label behind us and it's it's just kind of up and up and up and up from there it so sounds so easy but I mean it's not of course right I think it's a it's a question of of luck and timing you know as well as you know talent <laughs> talent yeah 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 i guess i guess yeah. it is but definitely timing was really important for us you know when we thought about it and we had a plan you know we didn't just kind of start playing local gigs and that, that kind of thing it was okay let's do this properly let's get the timing right and uh, you know release it in this week where there are we put it up on soundcloud this week where there are no other major releases and it's not south by southwest week or christmas or you, do you know what i mean mm -hmm. um so yeah, yeah we, we found a window and, and that, that was how people spotted us i think Amazing. Hey, uh, what's the first thing you issued online? Was it Go, actually? It was, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. What yeah. a beautiful track. Thanks, man. Thanks. Who did the video, actually? An amazing one, I think, too. That was my brother. Oh, my little brother did that video, yeah. He, um, he's sort of a part-time filmmaker over in England. I think his career will take off soon, too, uh, probably, right? I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, he did a great job. He made it for... for very close to no money that as well yeah, that, you know. that's actually that's that's uh, i think the fun and maybe the, the amazing thing of these times being mm. in a band that you can produce an album for little money you can make your own videos for little money if yeah. you know the right people and if you have the talent that's it and and like coming back to belfast it's a good place to do that you know every, it's a very creative city there are lots of people that are kind of willing to to help you out and do stuff for free, you know, to kind of further their own uh, little m mini ventures and that kind of thing. And it, it works for a lot of people. It works for yours, for sure. Hey, why name a band after Blackpool uh, Beach? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not really <laughs> named that. Well, it, it is it is, and it isn't. It, it, Blackpool Pleasure Beach is kind of like a childhood utopia for me. Um, I grew up in the south of England and, and that was always a place that like it, it was said, you know, one day we'll go here and do you know what I never went and I still haven't been <laughs> so you don't want to go I guess right well I think I think I may have outgrown that now you know <laughs> but I think one day I'll still I'll make that pilgrimage I think you will you uh, I don't know if you want to like it but uh, I'm sure you'll reach it <laughs> hey um uh, 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 the EP dreamer uh, dreamer to the dawn uh, it's self-produced it's also on vinyl out I saw it's on it was released on uh, flying vinyl uh, 
which I guess you guys know about. It's um, a really cool like, monthly subscription vinyl thing. But there will be a, a hard copy release pretty soon. Um, it's just online at the moment. How can we get it? You can keep an eye on our, on our, on our social media, I guess. <laughs> hey, why, why vinyl? Ah, well, um, it's almost, it's a bit more theatrical almost sometimes, you know, you have to get the needle, you have to put it on, you have to get an end, you have a little bit of crackle, and it's a bit more of a, I don't know, it's a performance in itself, to, this is a piece of plastic and it's somehow making noise, you know, it's kind of cool. But it's also cool to see, you know, I mean, yeah. I saw the copies of vinyl, I said, wow, you know, it's like, it's surreal. It's like your music on this product. Uh -huh. mm, it's a cool, tangible thing to hold, you know. But the, I, I brought one home to my, my record player and put it on. And then I realized that uh, I, it, it only played at 33. <laughs> so <laughs> I haven't actually heard our <laughs> EP on vinyl yet. <laughs> the slow version. <laughs> Not the slow version. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, of course, this will also be an issue. A lot of journal journalists will bring this up. Three women and two guys in a band. Mm -hmm. Three fifths girl band, two fifths boy band, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not a deliberate thing. I mean, it, it you know, it it's re it really works well. I really like being in a band with girls. Um, th there's a lot less kind of uh, ego. Um, and everyone kind of works together. When we were in a band with like four boys or five boys, everyone's like, no, this is my part, man. I want my part in this song. This is my solo. It doesn't really work like that. It's very, very collaborative and like everybody's sort of considerate and sort of polite sometimes <laughs> i suppose <laughs> <laughs> could have fooled me when i looked at the pictures <laughs> well, yeah. hey i love the instagram feed actually there's some cool stuff in there as well oh thanks yeah we have a couple of photographers like a couple of the girls are, are photographers like real photographers sometimes old stuff pops up as i saw uh, a picture taken at six uh, six in the morning uh a wasted ping pong uh, uh, match you guys were playing somewhere. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was fun. Um, that was in London, in was it Shoreditch, I think? Yeah, where, um, Dog Central. yeah it was really cool. Um, really nice area. Um, but maybe a few too many cocktails <laughs> during that ping pong match. <laughs> as well. yeah. Coming from Belfast, though, things like uh, late night drunken ping pong, that's a total novelty to yeah, us. Yeah, you know. cool. <laughs> <laughs> get it anywhere. <laughs> oh. hey, you can, uh, can, uh, back to the music. Uh, uh, it's, it's, I don't like comparing bands because I think it's, uh, it's, it's useless because bands are different, and if you don't have a different sound, you don't have any reason to mm. exist. So, but still, on the other hand, it does help to give people some sort of direction. Mm. Uh, sometimes you get stuff like uh, really weird combinations that people name when they when they find bands. Like I heard uh, a Mazzy Star meets Joe Meek. I don't know if you know Joe Meek I for for Meek, yeah. well, essentially for a, for a singer songwriter yeah. girl. And she was like, "That's actually that's really really nice." With you, I couldn't find anything. Basically, there's only one band that popped up when I listened to Dream to the Dawn. Is the Water Boys. Oh man, oh, that's awesome. Cool. Water Boys. Um, I only discovered when people started saying, hey, you, you, you sound a bit like uh, uh, Mike Scott, isn't it? You sound a bit like Mike Scott. So I thought, I figured I'd give it a listen. I knew The Whole of the Moon, which I, like, I really yeah. think is like top, top five best pop songs ever written, you know? Uh, yeah, and then I, I listened to uh, Fisherman's Blues and uh, yeah, I, I got so into that, man. But like, it wasn't an influence on the, on the record or anything like that, but it's nice when you find something that, that ties into what you're Definitely doing. And yeah. yeah, yeah, it's great, yeah. man. I, re I really love that. Fishman's Blues, especially. Sweet. How do you guys write music, actually? Is it just one, one, one member of the band comes with a, with a tune and you jam it out and work it out, or is there one person who writes basically everything? Yeah, it, it, like I, I would come to the, to the um, rehearsal with a pretty fully formed demo. Um, and then the rest of the band kind of embellish it, and they're like really good with vocal harmonies and extra parts. You know, I can't really play keys or drums or anything like that. So usually the drum beats like dun 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 dun, dun <laughs> <laughs> and the bass is kind of going dum 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 dum. So you know. <laughs> so you couldn't be a one man band. Not really, not really. But you know, they they get the idea and take it from there, and like it, it really works like that. I think. Hey, what holds the near future for you guys? I mean, recording, album. That's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure when that's going to happen. We're going to get back into the studio really soon and do some more. Uh, Using it yourself, probably? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the plan. You know, we'll get somebody else to mix it. But I, I kind of like being there when, you know, when, that, yeah, I when mean, that's... Come on, I mean, I'm also thinking, why would, you, why would you actually have a producer if you already have a fantastic sound? Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, it's good to get in the studio with all these 
vintage synthesizers and toys to play with. Um, the one that we do back home um, in Belfast has got a great collection of all these really cool toys. So it's good to get a play around in the studio. Hey, and, and then, I mean, what, what, are you, what are your goals? Of course, releasing the album, nice, great. But I mean, y you guys probably want to tour your asses off, right? I think that's also going to happen. Re like really soon, like this year is going to be a very, very busy year. So you're going to play festivals? <coughs> We're doing festivals, yeah. We've b basically been told to clear our schedule for the year and, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what's happening. Sweet. Hey, can't wait for you guys to come back here. Um, thanks so much for your time yeah. and uh, uh, good luck on the record. Cool, man. Thanks ever so much for having us. It's been great to play here in the Netherlands. Like, real treat. Cheers. <laughs>